Hi everyone, I'm Laurencio, and in this video, I'm going to talk about all the Wilde Kerle games for the GBA. The Wilde Fußball Kerle and Scheindung in Teufelstopf is an adventure game. Unless you know German, this game is not for you. Like usual in adventure games, you roam around, talk to people and solve quests. You need a certain item to pass a level, and to get that item, you need to get another item, which you find out how to get by talking to someone in the map. So, like any other adventure game, it is very text-focused. Unless you read carefully what the characters say, you will have a very hard time in the game. But if you pay attention to the game, it's okay. It has some flaws, like for example the slow walking animations, and the annoying fact that everything hurts you. Bushes hurt you, crows, hedgehogs, foxes, people, everything hurts you in the game, even bushes. And out of all of the enemies in the game, you can only punch people. Animals can't be hurt by you. All you can do to animals is avoid them. You can't punch animals like you punch people in this game, and it's pretty annoying. The plot is in my opinion bad, but tastes differ. Maybe you like the plot. Leon has to find his teammates for the upcoming match, but his friends were kidnapped, and now Leon goes to find them. Along the way you'll get many items, and you can call them even magical items, because you wouldn't be far off. I mean, you get some shorts that magically make you run faster for only a few seconds without even wearing them. You get some goalkeeper gloves, with which you can magically break barrels, and all of these magical items run on balls. Yeah, footballs, which you collect in the map. In between the map sections, you get this wonky bike sequences that are kind of bad. You have to pummel the A button to accelerate and jump with B, but you also have to adjust the angle when you're in the air, otherwise the guy just falls on his face. A good side of the game though, is that along the way you'll encounter multiple minigames, that are fun to play, though in some moments they can get pretty difficult. But don't worry, if the game becomes difficult, after it sees that you've lost a couple of matches, it intentionally gives you an easier game. And after each minigame you unlock in the story, you unlock a new item. One of those magical items I've listed. Overall the game is a good adventure game. It has some flaws, but it's still a solid game that can become incredibly boring, but it's still a good game and a pretty solid one. And the Wilden Fußball Kerle, Gefa in Wilde Kerle Land, is a platformer. For newer generation, and even for the GBA generation, the game feels dated. The platforming feels like in the first Prince of Persia game, but even if the game doesn't leave a good first impression, it's still solid and fun to play. Right from the start of the game you can select which level you want to tackle first. You start each section with the same wonky bike chase mechanics the last game had, and after that you get into platforming. The platforming is pretty enjoyable, even if the controls feel stiff at times. There are puzzles to solve, you can punch the same enemies as in the previous game, with the same mechanic, but this time it's not uh, an isometric, uh, from an isometric view, it's 2D. Overall, the game is solid. It feels dated, but it's actually fun to play, just give it a try. And you don't even have to know German to play this one.